Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with his Wednesday expert, Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, man. I wouldn't, wouldn't miss this for the world. Even when I'm across the country, I want to jump on on Wednesdays with you and chat. Oh, I, I appreciate it. I always have a good time. I love talking on Wednesdays, too, because what comes out in the morning is the Mortgage Bankers Association report. And uh, let me just tell you that the mortgage demand is down 21% year on year, 7% week on week. Um, and I, hopefully my followers hear that and smile. Because what I want people to realize is the housing transaction and crash that I've been calling for is happening right now. And as I'm telling all of my investors, write better offers. I want to tell homeowners, this is the time to write better offers. You don't have to pay 50K over. You can wait for 15 days on market like I am and go, hey, honey, let's stop looking at first day listings. Let's look at everything that's two weeks or older. I just had an agent on that sells in Orange County. 80% of the listings have price drops. This is great news if you're a home buyer. You, I, I, home buyers may not know this, but you can actually write an offer less than asking. It's, uh, it's going to be a good time. What do you think? Oh, for sure. That's the thing too, is like, you, you, you can't be mad when there was so much demand that it was super competitive and, and you were outbid and then be sad when demand wanes, right? Exactly. It's, 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 it's opportunity, right? You, the, the stuff that people hated, the stuff that made the housing market hard and stressful and all those things for people, as that goes away, mm -hmm. In comes opportunity. So, so like you said, whether it's you know investor or someone who's buying an owner rock, I work with both. It's a time of opportunity where, like you said, there's and and I think what people need to understand is don't take advice and think that it applies to every single market. Know that the more you understand your specific market, the better off you're going to be. Because if you listen to something that says you know, hey, listen, you might be able to offer below ask. And then you go to a market like San Diego, California, where I can't get something accepted for 175 above, right? Mm, like yeah. there's going to be neighborhoods and niches and markets where it doesn't apply. But on the same token, Ryan Lundquist, Sacramento appraisal blog, my buddy, um, had the, the best phrase I've heard. Don't be the unicorn, yeah. right? And by that, you know, basically interviewed a listing agent where this listing agent had a house on the market that was on the market for nine or 10 days. It wasn't super stale, but it obviously wasn't flying off the shelf. That agent got an offer, Mike, mm. 80,000 above list. And when I say an offer, that was the one offer. Wow. So when, when you think about that, like there's a bunch of different things there. One, I wish that person had a better buy agent. They wouldn't yeah. have paid that much. Yeah. Like, Maybe they wouldn't accept it 10,000 below, but you certainly didn't have to go 80,000 above. Yeah. You were the one borrower, right? You were the unicorn. Yeah. Again, not many people have been through real estate cycles like I have in 22 years. It has clearly changed. I've been, I wrote about three inflection points in my first book. I've now, this is now the fourth. It, the FOMO has gone to the sellers. And as a buyer, you have to realize, I know it's weird. I know you have two years of experience where you didn't feel this way, but you have control. Now it's true. First day listings in hot markets and hot areas. Uh, like I talked about in the daily financial news yesterday, uh, Colorado has three of the, the three most competitive markets. See if I can remember Denver, Aurora, and Littleton. If you're in those markets, right, learn your buy box, do what you got to do. But a lot of the country is slowing down. You see the quotes in our Facebook group that you're a part of. It is clearly slowing down. And I'm telling people it's just starting. If you are a home buyer and you don't have to move in before August 1st as a date, chill. Reset all of your expectations. If you could buy in September or October and just be as happy, your opportunities are coming. The next 90 days, are just starting. The FOMO from the sellers, we have to figure out which sellers are real and which aren't. We don't know yet. Right now, you see more and more listings coming on. You're starting to see price drops. My agent in Orange County said 80% have price drops, but they don't occur until 15 days. It takes two weeks. And yeah, don't be that unicorn, man. A buying agent telling somebody at a nine-day mark to write 80K over, not cool. Not cool. So I want, I want everybody to get excited. I want everybody to pay. I, I'm not going to write an offer over list price the rest of the year. Not happening. 
Yeah, I mean, it takes, you know, a couple a couple takeaways for folks. Get a good agent who knows the market and is going to advise well. Get yourself pre-approved and be in a position where you're ready. You know, when, if, if you're ready, you know your market, you have a good agent, there's going to be opportunity, right? There's going to be a lot of people who win the second half of 2022. And, you know, I think those things are important. The great agent, you know, the the pre-approval, which, you know, it's, it's funny that I even have to preach it, but... Mm-hmm. Um, most people understand that step now, right? Like have that stuff uh, dialed in because yeah, there's, there's, there's going to be a lot of opportunity and then there's going to be sellers that realize real quick, like, Oh, wow. I don't have as much leverage as I thought. Yeah. And then the last thing, if you're an investor, I want to remind you what Dion talked about this morning's interview. He knows his numbers, right? He's working with Matt, the mortgage guy, or, or, you know, that ilk to know his cost of capital. He was, he was interested in buying a fourplex that was listed at 1.03. So one million and thirty thousand. He offered nine ninety. So for only forty grand delta, which is like, I don't know, three and a half percent. But that was his max offer. That's all he could do to get his yield. He can't pay more than nine ninety. The seller said, um, you know, we 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 need to net a million. Can't take it. Two weeks later, they said, would you take one point oh one five? So they came down fifteen grand. Dion's like, no, nine ninety is the most I can do. So again, know them. Know your cost of capital. I tell people all the time, Matt, I don't care what my cost of capital is. I just need to know going in because that goes on my spreadsheet. It's the biggest and most important column, the mortgage, because then that drives my yield. If if you charge me 8% interest, because that's what it is, great. At least I know. And, and again, 30-year debt only for me, none of this arm nonsense. I'll make sure it cash flows day one. I'll just write a lower offer. Instead of 990, if it cost of capital goes up 1%, It'll be 925 or whatever it is. So again, investors, you have all the power. Fish for the motivated sellers. Don't guess. Do the work. Work with a great mortgage broker so you know the cost of capital. How do you want them to reach out? Go to greatmortgagebroker.com, fill out the form. Happy to get you pre-approved. And when you get pre-approved, you get an Excel spreadsheet, right? That like you said, you work those numbers. And 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 investing to a large extent is a numbers game, right? Yeah. You figure out what you're looking for and then you plug in, okay. This is what I plan to get on rent. Here's what the mortgage is going to be. And, and like you said, you backtrack into what can I pay for this property? And then it's not an emotional thing. This one's got pretty countertops. This one's in a neighborhood I really like. This is this, right? It's just like, this is going to get me the yield that I want, right? Amen. Thank you very much, buddy. You do great work. Take care. Thanks, Mike.